good morning guys welcome to today's video today is thursday all of our riding lessons this weekend this week are scheduled we'd like change them each from week to week they are different days but they have switched they're all like the last two days of the week this this week if that makes sense today is thursday sam and the girls left and we didn't even think about the fact that the horses are going to need to come in so yeah the horses are going to need to come in we have six horses and I'm the only one here. So you guys know that to manage our herd's weight, keep them healthy, we don't leave them on grass 24 seven. We change everybody up and around. We like alter. So some horses that are thinner, they go in for lunch. Well, the horses that are easy keepers stay out for lunch. Anyway, I called them and I said like, what the heck you guys are here alone with the horses. So I asked Gabby, like, what do I do? I don't have to do it all myself. Hi. Hi, handsome guy. Hi. Oh. <laughs> no, none of them listen to me as well. Like, only Penny listens to me. The rest don't. <laughs> so here I am. So her rules, her instructions were, put Chino in his stall for lunch first. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, horse number one, let's go. I also just brought Molly down, locked all the other horses inside. <laughs> because I just can see it going badly with 100 dogs and 100 horses. All right, horse number one. I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere so you guys can see how I did it. She said the next horse to bring in is Gracie. The morning sun is rising, spreading its light on the bed. Shining all that same old spot that's been horses down and I'm already exhausted. The horses are all literally down at the far end. <laughs> I just made the hugest mistake. Hugest mistake ever. When I took Chino in, I left the door open. I left the, the this door open and Willow was out here and she never even tried to go in. Shocking. It's shocking. But it's because our horses know the routine. We have such like a strong routine. I mean, all horse owners have strong routines. I'm beat. Only three more to go. <laughs> She's not even letting me take his halter off. He's not even missing a beat from eating. Bye, Storm! Delia would love to leave Storm and Honey in the grass field eating most of the day because they could both handle it. Both of them stop eating, there's Molly, when they're full and go stand in the shade, whereas our other girls much prefer to eat and stuff themselves. So uh, let's go get the last two. Maybe it's not worth First time I ever led two horses at the same time. You're probably thinking you would never have guessed it. <laughs> You're probably not. Okay, hold on. Honey goes in her stall. Hold on. I'm going to try and do this uh, one handed. Hold on. Okay. Stay there. All right. Oh. She goes in her stall to continue eating. And Penny, Penny, who doesn't need extra food comes out here, although she'll oftentimes try and grab hay. <laughs> oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm pouring sweat, I'm hot. 
The only break that I got in that whole experience was one, Chino's a dream. Two, Gracie actually, you know, Honey actually ran to me when I brought Penny in. And Molly took off. Molly took off. I did it all myself. I'm proud of myself. I'm exhausted, but the thing that helped me go through that was to just remind myself to go slow and who cares how long it takes. As long as I got it done, everybody's healthy and happy. It's all good. <laughs> Man, I love my family. I miss my family. Whew. Anyway, they should be home soon, but I want to show you a project that I'm going to be working on. You guys know this table that I have. It's just like a wooden thing that somebody built. It's not fancy at all. It doesn't even have legs. It's just this wooden box that somebody made, and then I use these hay things as uh, stands for it that worked out perfect so the thing that i like about it is that it's so super wide i have these baskets in the back it holds some of the baskets it holds my first aid kit it holds all my supplements these are the ones that we give regularly so they're all out in the front but it holds everything like i have extra fans in the back here i have three baskets i love how big this is i love it like this is my dream barn table. I, I don't think I've ever seen another barn table like this. This is my feeding station. My feeding station that's only one table. So my dream is to clean it. I'm going to have to power clean it because it's got some oil in it. We give our horses oil. We give them this kind and we give them W3 or W5. I forget. We give them mad barn, barn oil too. We just dump everything in the same container. So um, it's got a little bit of oil on it in a couple of different spots, but I want to, I want to protect it. I want to put like varathane on it. I don't know anything about this kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't have to do this stuff, but I want to, I want to clean it and I want to protect it and then uh, use it again. I want to keep it for a long time because like I said, this is literally my dream table. Like this is just... I don't know, probably just thin plywood. I don't even know what it is. Just scrap wood, probably. But it's so big, and I love it so much, I want to refinish it. This is how Sophie tacks up Storm. She puts a fan in front of his face. Well, he's sweating. <laughs> is he sweating? Yeah. It's not even that hot out. There's a sweat spot right there. Oh, really? A sweat spot right there. Oh. He does have one wet spot right there. Jeez. Hold the rest of them. Oh, well, hello, Princess Penny. You want to go for a ride? It's riding day. Well, it's like, I'll ride. Sophie literally comes down here every day. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm dedicated, but she is super dedicated. She loves taking care of her horses and spending time with them. She lunged Willow yesterday. She taught Willow how to free lunge. She taught her how to free lunge. Hey. What? Not free lunge. What, what were you doing? Lunging her without all rope. Isn't that the same thing? Well, it's different in a way. I'll show you. She's going to show us. There. Isn't that so amazing, though? She just started teaching her that yesterday. That's really good, Sophie. Do you have treats? I don't have any treats. You used all my treats. So I was coming out of the barn and I had Penny with me and I forgot the camera on the chair. So we're outside of the barn. What's wrong? Come on. <laughs> what? You're refusing to go? Come on. She has to pee. <laughs> we have to wait for Penny to pee. Good girl, good idea. Pee before we get on. Yeah, good girl, good girl. Always listen to your horse, people. <laughs> if she refuses to move forward, it means she has to pee for a long time pee. I put the reins over Penny's head and I said, Penny, wait there. <laughs> I said, whoa, and I left her, ran inside the three steps it took, grabbed the camera and turned around and guess where Penny was? Exactly where I left her. But anyways, Sophie's gonna ride. Sophie's gonna ride bareback. I'm shook because you guys, you may not know this, but like Storm is healing her, healing her fear. She wants to do better. She wants to like be better. So she wants to like learn to ride. This Western journey is helping her, but it's this horse. You guys, it's this horse. He is healing her. Oh, can't, I can't even believe it. All right, we got Laura up. We got Sophie going bareback. 
Alright, so Sophie's trotting. Well, she was trotting there, bareback. With her bareback pad. Laura's there. Riding around with Penny. Sophie's trotting. Stormy's such a good boy. And she's also using a bitless bridle today. Storm's got on a bitless bridle today and no saddle, which is brave times two. forward and I'm trying to figure out what the problem is she won't go with me unless we're out like on a trail sorry so I asked Gabby to go on it on her on wow what the heck he's so relaxed with this he's so relaxed this is like so telling so they asked her instructor can I <laughs> between the dogs can I have a bareback lesson and she said yes. I've been trying to get her to do this since she was 11. 11. Gabby started to do this when she was 11. But everybody develops differently. <laughs> I know. She keeps saying, look at me, look at me. And it's because she's so proud of herself. Like this has been such a big fear of her, of hers. Gabby says she's doing nothing except for sitting there. Why are you holding the... So show me what you just did. How did you kick just a second ago? I squeezed. What'd you do? All right, work my baby out. She needs to work. <laughs> my God. My horse hates me. <laughs> when we go out, it's always fun. You pick me up when I'm down. That's just one of many things that Makes me believe that you're a dream Yeah, it's no secret at all It's so obvious to all of us <laughs> Penny looks mad. She's coming to me. She's like, get her off me right now. She doesn't listen to me at all. <laughs> but Penny's out of shape and that's part of her problem. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I'm out of shape. Walking is hard for me. I forgot to mention that Storm is also bitless. We should take I this up to the house and clean it if up. I, like, if I'm losing my balance, I grab the reins. It yeah. doesn't put pressure on his mouth. Yeah, it's just on your nose. So I'm going to use this for now. Well, I mean, I don't think you can. <laughs> okay, here. Look at, not even a crest. That was a two-step lope. Penny's on a mission.
Was it? I loved it. Strong's expecting his fan to be on. Um, what did you want for your birthday now? A bear backpack. She said she came in and she said she wants a bear backpack for her birthday. Get down! She looks like a unicorn. She loves it. Honey came right up to the vent. She's like, do it more, do it more. She wants more. She's putting her body in the sprinkler. So that hose has a, has a spray. It sprung a leak. And she was putting her... I'm drinking now. Oh. I'm just spit out water. <laughs> That's Doris' specialty. He gets a mouthful of water, carries it in his mouth for five minutes, and then drops it on whoever he can. <laughs> She's got her face in the sprinkler. See, look at her lips. <laughs> <She Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end this vlog with a question for you guys. Penny's only done trails mostly her whole entire life. I believe it's what she loves. But in the ring, she's so much more calm and she just goes around slow. When we go on the trail, for the most part, her head is up and she is racing around. So, do you think that she... So what does that mean? Do you think she's more comfortable? Not, I don't know. So, which one is she truly liking? Don't you know that you're